Hello and welcome back and uh, today in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to calculate the cap of alpha and beta for the portfolios. So as uh, we know so I have already explained you uh, you know how to calculate the alpha and beta for a individual stock. So here is the file and I have already uploaded that video in the YouTube. So uh, if you have not gone through that I request you to please go through that videos. Uh, you know how to calculate the cap of alpha beta and Jensen alpha for individual stock okay so um, anyway I'm going to put that uh, you know videos a uh, link in this description please go through that so here uh, without wasting time so I'm directly jumping into how to calculate uh, this uh, alpha and beta for a portfolios so here uh, I have the data so you know um, I have the red column here and I have the stock here um, artisan global and I have another instrument called bearing fixed income so I have the market S&P 500 and I have the risk free rate which is T bills so I have this data so what you what you need to know uh, that uh, you know um, the the cap of model right as I have already explained in the previous video the cap of model is basically um, you know your uh, excess return on equity is equal to a beta times of excess return on market now here uh, definitely what we are going to do we are not going to calculate the excess return of equity instead of that we have to calculate the excess return of portfolios now how, how to do that so first we have to calculate the return right so you have to calculate the return of individual stock so how to do that as I told you earlier so it is very simple so this is nothing but your um, today's price divided by yesterday's price minus one and uh, you know so this is all the way down now you have to calculate the so this is the return for addition global now I'm going to calculate the return for bearing fixed income so this is your this one divided by this minus one so here you go so I got the uh, uh, return for your bearing fixed income now I have to calculate the uh, return for portfolio how to do that so here there is a one assumption that um, assumption in the sense so if at all I am putting 50% of my capital to artisan global and 50% of capital to my bearing fixed income then obviously I have to do uh, you know 0.5 uh, multiply your return of artisan global plus then 0.5 um, multiply with your um, you know um, return on bearing uh, bearing fixed income right so this is my uh, return of my portfolio because I'm my I assume that I'm putting 50% of my capital to uh, you know artisan global and 50% of capital to bearing fixed income now this is my return for portfolio so um, return of market I need to calculate the return of market so return of market is as simple as that so this is the market price so what I need to do I have to do this divided by this minus one so I'm going to get the return of market so now I have return of portfolio and I have return of market so I'm going to calculate the excess return of portfolio and excess return of market how to do that so I have to deduct return of portfolio minus my risk free rate so that will give me your return excess return of my portfolio so here exactly same same I need to do so I have to calculate the excess return of market which is your um, return of my market minus uh, risk free rate so that will give me excess return of market so now I have excess return of portfolio and excess return of market so this is my y variable and this is my x variable so here as I explained so I need x and y so there are two to three ways that I have explained in this previous video so you can go for slope and intercept uh, you know uh, formulas in Excel but uh, also you can try to go for regression function so what I'm going to do I'm going to calculate the regression function here so you have to go to um, data and then you have to click on data analysis so once you do that and go to uh, regression here and click OK after that you have to put the input y range here the input is uh, sorry the y range is definitely your uh, portfolio return because that 
return is depends upon your market now your y range you have to click on here so you have to go all the way down and then click ok then input x range so your x range is like um, you know your excess return of market now click on ok so now next is your output range so where you have to put the output so for me i have to put the output uh, here so and then you click on ok so once you do that you will get this uh, output here summary output so as i explained you earlier so this is intercept is nothing but your my alpha and this is my slope and this is your beta so your slope is your beta and your this intercept is your alpha so you can um, change this format to your percentage and uh, you can see so 0.08 percent is your alpha and um, your beta is 0.55 you can put this as a uh, you know two decimal or uh, four decimal point now here another thing is your p value so you can change the format so you have to click on the format cell and then you have to click on your um, number so make it decimal places is four now here as i told you earlier if my p value is less than uh, uh, five percent then this information is um, you know uh, significance and i can use this information but if my p value is more than five percent because i'm i'm giving 95 percent confidence level so if my p value is more than five percent then i will not consider that information is useful for me but here in this, both those cases my p value is less than five percent so definitely this information inter, uh, intercept and uh, your slope or you can say alpha and beta both are useful for me so this is how you have to calculate your uh, portfolios alpha and beta and the individual stock uh, alpha and beta i will explain please go through that and this is your portfolio alpha and beta thank you so much um, that's all uh, i wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for watching this video